Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So I'm here in Marsalam, Egypt at the Red Sea for some diving. I'm only a beginning school and diver, so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a diving computer that I only use a couple of weeks a year and that I maybe don't understand completely. So that's one of the advantages of the Apple Watch. I use it every day, the whole year round. So it is really familiar for me. And I'm already in the Apple ecosystem, what helps also, of course. So I didn't find a lot of recent reviews of the Apple Watch with scuba diving, only a lot of videos just after it's released. So I want to test it for myself. As I did my deep dive course anyway, I could test it at its max depth of 40 meters. And I have to say it is really nice to use. So as you would expect from an Apple Watch, it works really easy. Easy to understand, easy to use. On your wrist, you can directly and with ease calculate your no decompression time and see your MOD. So please, for people that aren't familiar with scuba, refer for all this information to your training center. So pre-dive, you just access with the action button, the dive mode, and then you have to confirm that you're fit to dive but it also activates automatically once you're in the water if you set it up like this. Then once you're submerged more than one meter, you have all the information. The visibility is amazing. You can see clearly your depth with the variometer. You can see your ascent or descent rate. You have your no decompression time. And in the lower part of the screen, you can switch between partial oxygen pressure values, the compass, or your max depth in dive time. One of the greatest things about the Apple Watch is not only the visibility but also the haptic feedback. So my dive instructor had his alarm going crazy. I only had a little haptic feedback that didn't disturb anyone. So I can imagine when you dive in a group and you have six dive computers going nuts, it's really hard to know which one is which. So after the dive you have directly all the information you need about your dive as your depth your surface time and some other details about your location and details about the dive itself and then when we go to the logbook on the apple watch you can see more information about snorkeling and diving with each its own color there you can see the depth the time they just spend it type of air you used and you can even see the location of the dive itself then let's check out a snorkeling session so you can see the time expended the dive time dive depth the number of dives and the temperature so in the oceanic plus app itself you see a lot more information of course there are a lot of different graphs to compare your dives you can see the averages, the totals, the number of dives, the depth, and so on. So the diving snorkeling modes are clearly separated in color. And we check out a dive, you see the dive location. At your entry and exit point in the water. You can see your dive profile where you can see like the ascent rate you see no deco time or your depth so then you have oh, the, the rest of the dive information like dive time average ascent rate temperature max depth the type of tank you used and you can set the air that you used for your service air consumption calculations. Then you have some weather condition you can set, rating, notes, the buddies you dove with, and you can set the weight that you used. So the location planner is quite fiddly, I think. For the Red Sea, there was no information whatsoever, which I think is odd for a popular dive site. And when you zoom out, you don't get clear 
indications of locations where you have dive info from for instance when i look a little bit around here on the seashells i don't see any pins of locations where there's dive info nothing here neither and when i go to another popular location like the maldives let's go over there there you can see sometimes it just jumps back to the starting screen so quite frustrating so when you look up the information with the search bar there it gets your dive information like in curacao but even there when i search on the red sea it's also red sea port Gali. then i still don't have no information so in the settings you can set your mode the type of air you dive with your conservatism and the units that you want so like uh, fahrenheit or celsius so in snorkeling mode of course you have a little less information but everything you need you have your max depth you have your snorkeling time or dive time the number of dives you made and it is also easy to use easy to read and in your logbook the difference between dive and snorkeling is really easy made So I use this with this oceanic watch band. You can see it's a black one that doesn't exist at Apple. I bought this one on AliExpress. Please check my other video for alternative watch bands. And it holds up really great. With this band, I went to the 40 meters. As you can see, I still have my Apple watch. It really holds up well. So all by all, I think it is a really great solution for recreational divers uh, like me I think it has all the options that you find in other dive computers uh, I think I had the same information that my dive instructor has with his Sunto D4i so of course it isn't a dive computer for tech divers as for now the application is limited at 40 meters but the Apple Watch should hold up up to 100 meters so maybe in the future they open up depths for extended range so the pros the watch is really easy to use i think it looks really nice and much better than those big clunky dive computers you can use it all year round and you have all your data directly on your phone and you don't have to sync it with a computer that you don't have necessarily with you when you're on holiday so the cons of course are its price with thousand euros it isn't the cheapest dive computer another con is that you still don't have some options like calculate your surface air consumption you don't have your average depth from the dive neither and you still can't see your air that you have in your tank but those are options that maybe will be added later on well, I saw a lot of videos in the beginning that complain about this service plan that you have to pay with Oceanic Plus in order to use all the options in the application. Personally, I don't mind so much paying, uh, I think it's 14 euros for one month. When you have a dive computer, you have to change batteries from time to time. You have to get it serviced as well. And that, that isn't free neither, of course. So for, I think it's 70 euros, you have a plan for the whole year. And for 14 euros, you have a plan for one month. So I think those are quite fair prices. So those are my thoughts about this Apple Watch Ultra for scuba diving. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.